stuff off at the shop. Some little knickknacks that they need. And then I'm going to be going to this Jamaican restaurant that I heard about recently that I've never heard about, which I'm shocked because, well, I'm not shocked because I kind of feel like there's so many different things or restaurants or places in Ghana that it's easy to slip through the cracks, you know? And maybe they don't advertise very well online or something. So I gotta go there and test the authenticity. I haven't had real Jamaican anything. Like besides the patties I make for myself, I haven't really had any super impressive. Yeah, I wanna say that. I haven't had anything really, really impressive. this information <laughs> okay so I'm gonna see you guys when I get there okay goodbye oh you don't want us the way it was it's the way it was you good on the love it's the baby love it's the baby love girl what the hell you complain for feeling dead huh you should trip all that shit I'm scared to you that's fun on the run no I'll give it to you but pay me don't get tense you were just another shit gonna hail it you're trying to fix it in it you're trying to manage it's getting late tell me I'm savage why am I saying What the? I forgot I was pregnant for a split second. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see? I forgot about this. Oh my god. Guys, I am so sad. My footage got deleted of this wonderful food. Gosh, this is all I have left. <laughs> I guess it's on to the next day. joining society by going outside very shortly but I need a break I need a break before I go outside but there's no time for that mm -hmm. so I am moving dun, dun, dun. I'm moving so I'm moving and I'm going to be looking at a place right now so that is why to get ready to go outside. I'm so tired, I can't, I really can't. I was even gonna put on a little layer of makeup, but now I'm just feeling too tired to even stand here and do that. And I'm hot. So I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> I think it's not gonna happen. I think my hair being combed is enough. Let me take off this thing right here. Oh boy. bit of a white cast because this isn't like stick proof the spray sticks to this so when I take it off it just makes it it's not perfect that's okay nothing a little water can't fix I'm fine with that okay I think I'm I think I'm ready 
Oh, I'm gonna need pants though. LOL. Um, yeah, I'm going outside now. Hey, I think I look fine. I definitely look presentable enough. Want to get pants on? For sure. Part of society. Okay, so let me call you guys back when I'm. Now, now that I'm seated, I'm able to actually follow through with this. I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on because <sighs> I'm tired again. <laughs> this is the worst pregnancy ever. Like, I'm even surprised. Nomi and Jordan were a breeze. Like, I had no issues at all. Well... I was 20 and 24, but still, like, am I aging, like, to the point where, like, pregnancy is a thing to me? Like, I didn't even realize I was pregnant half the time with Naomi and Jordan. I was doing any and everything, you know? Climbing stairs was not a thing. Walking, not a thing. I just was never tired. It was just so great. So the suffering that has come upon me is so annoying. So annoying. <sighs> like, I don't know. Pregnancy over 30? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm also going to get my nails done as well. So that's why I decided maybe just do a little, you know, do a little something, something. My lips are also super dry, but they're always super dry. Okay, so I, I think this is right. Yeah. 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 All right, so let's go outside. So I'm waiting. <laughs> um, we're waiting for someone I think who has the key to the apartment before we can get to go there so it's quite the coordination right now so i met with the agent and then we met with someone else and then she's meeting with someone else so that someone else can take us so there's like eight people involved in this but i hope it's worth it but uh i think it will be but it's a little bit funny and it's raining but thankfully I am under this whatever this thing it's raining it's rainy season out here so um, I guess when we get going I will call you guys back I'd also like to say I'm getting my nails done today. Okay. They're really bad. I didn't know if I wanted to have nails while being pregnant, you know? I don't really even like getting my nails done. It doesn't feel enjoyable. But they look bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna get them done. Um so that I can just look normal. <laughs> okay bye okay, so the third party is here and they wanted to walk <laughs> but obviously I'm not like I can't walk I can't walk long distances he says it's not far but because this is Ghana you know that means that it is far <laughs> so um, we're gonna get a car okay here we are so this is the unit i've been waiting to see so as you walk in this is the living space looks good so this is obviously the guest bathroom so this unit is brand new never before lived in which is nice so i will say the rooms they're pretty small for ghana so they have wardrobe, AC, ceiling fan. 
and every bedroom has its own washroom tiled from head to toe <laughs> so yeah looks good looks good so the kitchen was actually kind of weird because there's no real place to put the fridge like if you look carefully there is no like space for a refrigerator to go that was weird and then they also have this stovetop stovetop so if i were to bring my own stove i wouldn't have anywhere to put it so that kind of makes it very silly <laughs> it does have a little pantry i kind of feel like they could have done without the pantry and just maybe made a space for your fridge lol yeah so i mean for those reasons i kind of feel like ugh, it doesn't even make sense to take it know where to put your fridge and know where to put your stove but i mean overall the unit is nice but it's just kind of funny that they you know didn't do that part properly so these are the other two bedrooms as i said they're pretty small and i think they're all like the same size as each other as a matter of fact so they're pretty much all the same yeah so the price is 5500 cds which is about 500 fifty dollars in us so essentially like to convert you pretty much just take a zero off the end pretty much but yeah so that's that unit this is another unit so i'm also trying to stick to the ground floor because i do not want to be climbing stairs with a baby so this place is okay but guys i was suffocating like it was so stuffy in there i guess they haven't opened the unit in so long or i don't know but it just was so humid so this is the kitchen i guess that's a space for the fridge um it also has a pantry but i feel like why do the pantry when you can put more kitchen <laughs> in the kitchen yeah so um yeah pantry space i guess they're using it as a storage unit at the moment but the kitchen is pretty small i don't really like that so that already kind of made me not really like it. Okay, so I'm moving on. I want to show you guys the floors. They're so ugly. <laughs> so the bedroom floors are nice. I'm not sure why they did the floors out in the uh, living room, you know, a different color. So, of course, it's like, you know, it needs some maintenance. So whenever you decide to move in, they do like clean everything up, repaint everything and make it like brand new. Although it looks a little bit crazy right now. The other thing too, it only had two AC units. So I would have like, I would need four, one for each bedroom and then one for the living room. So it only had the AC in the master bedroom and in the living room. So the washroom was actually pretty clean. The washroom looks like it's like brand new. So I'm thinking, why can't the house be brand new like the washroom? The washroom was really clean. I appreciated that. And this is the primary slash master bedroom right here. With its own washroom. So the place wasn't bad, but I just couldn't think beyond like the stuffy smell. <laughs> So this is another unit. Um, how much is this way? This one. This one is 4,000 CDs. So basically $400. It is a brand spanking new, never before lived in. So the outside area is really nice. So here's the entrance. Sorry guys, I didn't film this one on landscape. Landscape. So this is the living area as soon as you come inside. And then this hallway has the three bedrooms. The bedroom sizes were decent. Um, it doesn't come with AC, but I was able to negotiate the AC to be installed. This is a washroom. Okay, it looks nice, clean, everything. It also has a nice roomy kitchen. I'll show you the kitchen guys in a sec. So this is the second bedroom. All the wa all the bedrooms come with washrooms. Guest washroom. Oh, 
yeah so that's pretty much it for this place you guys oh and they have water heaters as well that is a good thing to note and this is a third place um again they don't really like fix it up until you've committed to coming to live there so it has a really big hall um living room slash i guess dining space so this is the kitchen very spacious kitchen actually i was just looking at the dirt <laughs> But they're going to clean all of that if you were to take it. Got a little outside porch space. And then back inside. This is the primary master bedroom. It's pretty spacious in comparison to like the other ones. So they have some more renovations that they're actually working on like right now in the washroom. So only the primary bedroom has its own washroom ensuite. So the other two bedrooms do not have an ensuite, which is fine. We've lived like that in Canada for centuries. <laughs> so this place is 2000 800 CDs, so basically $280 US, which is a good price. But the only downside is that it doesn't have any AC units at all or any wardrobes. So like wardrobes as in like closets to put your stuff in. So it's, I think the price is good, but of course you'd have to spend money to get your own AC and all that type of stuff and wardrobe. But let me know what you think. <laughs> so I'm back. This is the roast or the round I got since it didn't have chuck. Got me some seasonings because for some reason I didn't have any. So I am gonna go ahead and wash my meat because I just want to. <laughs> oh, sorry for the mess, guys. Like I'm too tired and weak. Too tired and weak. So I'm going to give it a little, you know, just a little vinegar wash, nothing crazy. So I went ahead and rinsed it. Okay. So I'm going to season her up. They always say pat dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat her draw. Just using a paper towel. <laughs> so I'm gonna pat her dry. I hope she comes out. I mean, <clears throat> I hope this comes out like properly because it's not the cut that is, you know, recommended. So I don't even know anymore. I'm a little bit nervous about, about this now. I just realized that I should probably cut up my vegetables before I even start this whole process. Let me do that. Okay, so I'm back. I am going to um, season this. Put this here. I'm gonna open this tomato paste. One thing I forgot to get was wine. I really wanted to use wine. So I'm so sad that I somehow forgot it. So I'm gonna use some paprika. 
Um, I have some actual steak seasoning. So I saw someone use steak seasoning on theirs, so I'm going to do that. Let me get my glue. Tap that in. Let me just do some garlic powder. It's hair, I'm here, we might as well. Onion powder. Push it in. And do the same thing on the other side. So this thing is getting pretty hot. And I'm gonna sear it on both sides. Get a nice crusty crust. Almost burned, actually. I'm gonna have some butter ready. Is that a lot of butter? Kind of is, but I'm okay with that. Let me just put that butter here. Also, I'm making like a roux kind of to make it thick instead of using cornstarch, so I'm gonna get some flour. And I could not find any, um, what's it called? Beef stock. So I have this like beef gravy thingamajig. I'm gonna mix it with some water. I know it looks like so crazy hair. So crazy. Let me put these away. So I'm waiting for my pan to be super duper 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 hot so I can burn this piece of meat real quick. Check out the sear. I can't even show you this. Look how smooth it is. That is the color we're looking for, you guys. So I'm just going to take this out. It looks pretty done to me. I'm going to put it in here on top of my veggies. Okay, and then we're going to do the root. It's a new day, a new day. So um, I didn't get to show you how my roast turned out. I'm going to show you right now. So I learned a few things. I think because I used the round of the beef as opposed to the chuck, which the chuck is what's recommended for like this type of thing. I just sneezed. The chuck is what's recommended, and I use the round. Okay, so so many things happened. I put the timer on on my um, pressure cooker, and I left. And when I came back, it was done. So I was like, oh, that was fast. That didn't seem like an hour. I open it, everything is still hard. It's hot, but it's hard. So I'm like, okay, maybe I didn't set it properly, or I, I didn't turn the valve to put on, put on the pressure. So I did everything right, put it to um, 60 minutes or whatever, come back and it, it's off again. 
So I think what happened was the roux that I made, I guess it absorbed all the moisture. The pressure cooker kept getting an error, like there's not enough water. So I added water to it for like the fifth time to turn it back on. And then the lights went out, like the electricity went out. So I couldn't use the pressure cooker anymore and I was getting hungry. So I'm like, okay, let me put it in my manual pressure cooker on the gas stove, which doesn't require electricity. So I put it on there and it came out okay. But the thing about, I think the round is like the fibers are very, very, very long. So like, it's hard to chew. It's soft, but the fibers are long. So it's kind of hard to chew. Anyway, I'm having it for lunch today. So I'm having it with some macaroni and cheese. I also want to make pizza. I make my own pizza now. I've been doing a lot of like cooking stuff. So um, I want to make my own pizza, but I want to use non-processed tomatoes. Like I want to make my own tomato sauce like from scratch, which is what I did the last time I tried to make pizza and it was so good. So um, I want to see if I can go ahead and do that. Maybe, it's a big maybe though. I'm already feeling out of breath. <laughs> but yeah so um that's it for now i'm really tired i just looked at the footage and i look really tired and i am really tired i don't even sleep at night my back is actually hurting me so that is why it looks so run down you guys i look terrible but this is my little lunch my uh beef whatever and macaroni and then I'm going right to bed <laughs> until until who knows when. Hi guys. So I decided I'm going to make Hawaiian buns. So I already prepared all my ingredients, flour, yeast, sugar, pineapple juice, um, melted butter and milk and salt and yeast. <laughs> So we're just going to combine, like the, like the internet has told us. So I'm going to put my eggs in. I'm going to put my semi-warm milk and butter in. And this is pineapple juice. This is fresh pineapple juice though. So I kind of feel like, I wonder if it will make it different because it's like real pineapple juice. Ish load of sugar, like a ish load. And we're just gonna stir that up. Then it says to gradually add your flour. So I'm going ahead and I'm doing that. I'm just gonna do it gradually like it says. So it's coming together. Add more. I'm already tired. <laughs> I need to lie down. Okay, so that seems to be in. So then you just add the, the flour gradually, like the last bit, because you might not need it all. Still looks kind of wet though. So I think I will need the rest of that flour. Suddenly coming together. We keep working at it. I think I need to put like way more flour. It doesn't even look like dough at all. This is really, really strange. Wow. The most annoying thing ever. Like I used all my little energy trying to whip up that batter. So basically I used fresh pineapple juice and the, uh, the enzymes in the pineapple juice break down the gluten in the flour so the flour it doesn't get to um you know come together so that was just a big waste of everything and now i'm left hawaiian bunless <laughs> i really wanted those buns so now i have to take a nap after all that but i gotta eat so i'm gonna make myself a little burger at my house i know crazy burger at home so i'm just gonna make myself something to eat real quick because 
that took all of my calories. I'm really sad. Anyway, if I have strength later on, I'll probably make pizza dough and do a, a pizza later on. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. I need to be sleeping. I am tired. I need to not be awake anymore. And I'm so bad at taking naps. It's like I have anxiety about it. You know, I kind of feel like I'm going to be needed. What if like the shop calls me or something? You know, I can't sleep in peace. But I need to because I'm suffering. But I'm going to actively try. I want to set the mood. I want to put on something boring because I actually have a hard time sleeping in like silence comment down below if you are the same i have to turn the tv on or have something going on in the background and i'm trying to pay attention to it and that's when i fall asleep so i'm gonna do that so i can set myself up for success at sleeping gosh and it's only gonna get worse once the baby's actually here okay so let me um turn the lights down low all right and get to bed so um i'll let you know how successful this nap time is and uh maybe we can do it again sometime <laughs> hey everyone i'm back it happened i took a nap and it was successful it wasn't a super super long nap but i feel better so i made myself a burger this is actually my second burger for the day don't tell anyone so I made myself a burger. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna eat this. <sighs> I'm overeating. I'm so I'm so sad. I am like 140 pounds. So I've gained about 15 pounds. Yeah, I think it's all baby. But that being said, I don't want to continue to overfeed him <laughs> so he can just get bigger. He needs to go on a diet. I don't want no big old baby. Anyway, so this is gonna be my last burger for a while. And then it's gonna be salads for me. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. How big have some of your babies been? Comment down below. Like, what was the weight of some of your babies? I'm trying to have like a six pound baby, 6.5. Nothing too crazy though. Yeah, so comment down below. So I ate that burger. And now I'm gonna be having this mango smoothie. It's a mango and pineapple smoothie. I need to have it because it is like healthy. It's kind of green because I mixed in moringa with it. So that's the only form of vitamin I'm taking at the moment. Yeah. My other vitamins ran out recently, but this is okay, like this is fine. So I'm gonna be taking this. I mean, the moringa gives it a different taste, you know? But I'll be fine. It's so late. It's like 12 o'clock. I'm going to go shower and get to bed. Um, it was nice spending the week with you guys. What do you guys think? Are you, um, are you enjoying this kind of longer vlog? Hi, Mickey. Or what? um let me know down below so um yeah so i'm gonna go to bed now thank you guys for following me so i'll see you guys um next time okay love you